Okay, fair enough. I've invited you to accept Christ uh, as your King and Savior, your Lord and Savior. Uh, many of you are doing that. I see you on the street. A lot of people don't understand what it's all about, and I'm going to clarify it tonight because it's very confusing. It has been hidden by the church for a long time so they can make a fucking business out of it, a guilt business. And that's why nobody likes religion. I, I've weathered the storm my whole life as a Catholic because I, God was with me at a young age. Archangel Michael was with me at a very young age. I, I served the Lord when I was 12 years old, and I, I never stopped. That's why I've been so weird for everybody, because I, I see the light. I've always seen the light that I see now. It's just very beautiful now. I'm in heaven, and I want to share it with you. So I'm going to break it down, the basics, what Jesus means, what, what, what you're getting into. It's very beautiful, okay? But I want you to understand so that when you get baptized, you don't have to get baptized tonight by midnight. Uh, you just have to make the choice by tonight at midnight. Make the choice in your heart to join us, serve the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you're welcome aboard our ship, our California militia, our national militia, our plane of existence, our dimension, where I'm the guardian, and I, I row the boat ashore to the kingdom of heaven. So I will explain to you the kingdom of heaven, what it is. It's really cool. Nobody owns the keys to the kingdom of heaven. The, the, the Catholic Church seems seem to think that they did through St. Peter, some kind of, it's bullshit. But they, they lord it over people for all these thousands of years, like, oh, we have the keys, you have to pay us money and fucking service and, like, be all crazy and, like, scared of other people and, like, hate other people and go to war in Jerusalem and stuff like that because we have the keys. That, it's not like that at all. I'm giving you the key, keys of heaven right now. So you have them for free. Because that's how this works. I trust you. I trust the communities. The communities govern themselves. Any kind of community. The HA community, if those brothers want to fucking come on board, come on board, boys. I want you. I want you to turn to Christ. You can keep your collar. Come with us. We need, we need strong men like you. Warriors of old. Marines. Come with us. The kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, is a state of mind. It's a state of consciousness. It's Christ consciousness. It cannot be owned by any authority nor soul. It can only be shared or taught. The kingdom of God is a state of heart, a state of awareness, of daily living, of understanding life and people, of understanding yourself, of living in harmony with God, of building the church from within. Everything I've outlined. Matthew 16, 18 through 19. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be will have been bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be will have been loosed in heaven. Church is ecclesia. Jesus used the word only twice in his in ministry. It means community. It means assembly. It never, Jesus never outlined a building or series of buildings that collected money to fund a clergy, a, a pope, a priesthood, all this bullshit, bishops. That's not, Jesus never said it. He said ecclesia twice. And it means community. That's why I knew to give the power to communities because that's what Christ would do. The church is established within Peter, it grows out from there into the community. The kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, is God's will in heaven. By, as God's will in heaven loose and binds, our will on earth follows. As God wills it, it happens to us. Like with my life, God wills the things for me to win all these times, and, and I, I win. I, I effortlessly just know what to do, like, as I'm doing it. I'm, like, in the middle of combat, and I realize what I'm doing every day. The smallest group qualifies as a church. So start churches with each other, okay? Smoke a fucking cigarette with a sober dude. Two or three people gathered in Jesus' name as a church, all right? 
couple skims, drinking some beers. You want to talk about the Lord? Fucking talk about Jesus, man, while you're drinking your beers. There's no wrong in drinking beers and smoking cigs. Don't do drugs and get all fucked up, but, like, have a couple beers on a bridge or, like, by a river or fucking behind an alley. Smoke some smokes with your boys. Talk about Jesus Christ and what he can do for you. Okay? Luke 17, 20 to 21. The kingdom of God does not come from your careful observation. Nor will people say, here it is, or there it is. Nobody controls it. Because the kingdom of God is within you. It, it, the kingdom of God grows within us. The kingdom of God is a church within you. So I'm granting you this understanding that Christ grows within you. That's the mustard seed. That's your connection to Christ. That's your connection to heaven. That is your key, your ticket. It's in your heart. That's why it's for everybody. Because everybody has a heart. It's like everybody has to eat with their hands. Everybody has a heart. They need love. Everybody does. The scariest Nazi skinheads need fucking love, dude. That's why they're Nazi skinheads. They don't got no love. All right? We're on the street, we know this. We know what love is. We support each other because we say, hey, what's up, man? And we know what fucking love is, dude. We know we're all suffering, but we fucking love and help and hand. And that's how trust is built. Jesus replied, Love the Lord with your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. These are the two keys that unlock the church within you. They unlock the church, the kingdom of God within you. Love God first. Love your neighbor as yourself. That's it. That's it. It's simple. It's not fucking, you don't got to carry a cross up a thing and torture yourself. You don't got to do that. You got to love people like I do. I risk my fucking life and soul to love people. I got to see this through. I got to fight for this every fucking day of my goddamn life. Because I love people and I want people to make it to heaven with me. From there, the church grows. The kingdom grows outward and upwards up to heaven. Figure it out. It, it grows in you, and everybody has their own way of doing it, okay? Some people meditate. Some people fucking climb trees. I love climbing trees. Some people make jewelry. I make all my military shit. I fucking make all my fucking gear, dude. I love it. I connect to God that way. Make your own shit. Do your own thing. Fucking find it out yourself. Let God grow in you. As you grow in others, as we grow in one family, okay? That's the kingdom of heaven.